class, my name is Miss Eggleston. Today, we're going to be working with money. But there's a few basic things we need to start go over first before we start. I don't know how many of you are familiar with this. This is a dollar. This is worth 100 pennies, 20 nickels, 10 dimes, or 4 quarters. Now, a penny is just 1 cent. It takes a hundred of these to equal this. A nickel is five cents. It takes twenty of these to equal one dollar. A dime is ten cents and it takes ten of these to equal a dollar. And a quarter is twenty-five cents and it takes four of these to equal a dollar. Now as you can see, the quarter is the biggest coin and it's silver. The dime is really small and it's also silver. The nickel is slightly bigger than the dime and it's silver. And the penny is a bronze color and it's about the same size as the dime. The dollar is green and it's a rectangular shape. Now, how many of you come, at, come in contact with money in your regular lives? Do you use money? Yes. Well, at a lemonade stand, let's just do lemonade stand. Uh, how many of you have done lemonation before? I okay. have. I can I see a lot of you have. Um, so when you're making lemonade and you're selling it, you charge people, I don't know, 5, 15 cents for a cup of lemonade. They're paying you for the lemonade you've made. Once you have received that 15 cents, and just depending on how much people of you have got, so say we've got two people and you now have 30 cents, and you go to the grocery store and you see you can buy a gumbo for 25 cents and five little ones for a penny each. That means you have, I don't know, like six gumballs, which you had to pay with the money you just made. So money comes in contact with our lives on a very regular basis. Now we're going to do a little math with money. So going off what we already know, with nickels and dimes and quarters and pennies, if we had two quarters, which are each, each 25 cents, and added them up together, how much would we have? 50 cents. That's right. We would have 50 cents. That's one half of a dollar. And if we had three pennies, which are each one cent each, And we, that would be three cents. But then say you want to, your little brother took a penny from where you already a little penny. So then you can subtract one cent and you have two cents. Or you can see here 25 cents plus 25 cents equals 50 cents. Later we're going to discuss more into money and we're going to set up a little school store where you will purchase things with the money you've made and the people that are running the school store can take in that money and that money goes towards things in our classroom. So that's tomorrow's project, and thanks for staying with us.